At a fundraiser in Calgary last month, Jason Kenney was coy when asked about a potential move to provincial politics. He said, I'll make a decision on this in the near future. Well, that decision has now been made. CBC News has learned that tomorrow Kenny will announce he's running to become leader of Alberta's progressive conservatives. How many Alberta conservatives here? Kenny was seen by many as a strong contender to take over the leadership of the federal conservatives. He's been an MP representing Calgary since 1997, first elected under the Reform Party. As a conservative under Stephen Harper, Kenny held several key cabinet positions and was most recently Minister of Defence. For somebody who's already done the minister's job, at the federal level, the one type of job he hasn't yet done is actually being the leader, the alpha figure himself. And doing that federally may be a bigger challenge given Justin Trudeau's current popularity. Political watchers say Kenny might have seen himself sitting in opposition for years. He was clearly a, f a favorite, if not the favorite, to win the, the federal leadership. If he thinks it's not really so much of a prize, then it makes sense that he's looking elsewhere. Kenny is expected to launch his leadership bid tomorrow with a pledge to merge Alberta's PCs with the Wild Rose Party. It's a tumultuous task, but it is an area where he has some experience. Kenny helped facilitate the union between the Canadian Alliance and the Progressive Conservatives in 2003 to form what is now the Conservative Party of Canada. The lessons that he's learned there and being a, an integral part of seeing that merger happen successfully that will greatly enhance his ability, should he decide to make this move, to pull things together in Alberta. But before he can begin seriously talking about uniting the right, Jason Kenney will first have to win the PC party's leadership race. That vote is scheduled for March. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Edmonton.